In today's video, I'm going to show you the technique I use to get a broken screw out of the bolt. Um, normally, whenever I'm roughing out big bowls like this, I like to use my faceplate. And I use these, um, I'm not sure exactly what size, I think 5 16th, but they're a uh, hex head screw. These are a lot more beefy than just a regular wood screw. And they have a hex head, so you can just zip them on and off with a... Um, socket bit on a drill. Unfortunately over time they do occasionally get fatigued like most metal will and then they tend to break the heads off. So like I said today I'm going to show you the technique I use to get these out. So I've got my bowl chucked up by the tenon I've made and my faceplate is obviously removed. Here's our broken screw. So first thing I'm going to do is take a parting tool and figure out where I need to be and what I'm going to do is cut right on the outside of where the screw is and kind of work my way in till I'm fairly close to it. You obviously don't want to go too far or else you're going to hit the tool on the screw and it's going to take the corner off. So we're going to go in probably about an inch or two with this and then we'll move on to the next step. I'm going to set up my Forstner bit and set this up just like I was going to hollow this out. And then we'll punch a hole in the center too. So we've got a little track on the outside and a hole on the inside. Now what I need to do is come in with my gouge and take out some of the material right here on this outer part. As you see, we have this ring that's kind of more or less raised up from the rest of the bowl. Even though it's level, we have some access here. So now we're just going to take a saw. We're going to cut in on either side of this. And now we can just grab this part, kind of wiggle it out like a tooth. <laughs> 